Many growers looking for a simple form of irrigation go with overhead irrigation, and that's what this video is about. All right, let's get into overhead irrigation equipment for outdoor cannabis production. So first off, or overhead irrigation in general. When we're looking at overhead irrigation, it's a system that's a lot like a, long, a lawn sprinkler. And in um, small applications, lawn sp sprinklers can do just fine. Uh, water is basically pumped under pressure and sprayed down onto the plants via a flat spray nozzle. And that can be very small here or a very large application as we see here. It's maybe mounted as part of an overhead network of aluminum pipes or even simply mounted on the top of a stake, again, depending on the size of the operation. Now, over the advantages of overhead um, irrigation is that it visibly confirms system uniformity, very easy for a grower to check and make sure there is an even spread of water. Offer, this also offers a very large coverage area for a relatively small number of pipes. Uh, lar a long product life, often uh, 10 years or greater, can be used for germination, fertigation, chemigation, and as well as frost control. And it can offer short irrigation intervals and lower maintenance costs than other systems. And this is why overhead irrigation can be so popular. However, there's also some challenges with overhead irrigation, as it has a higher potential for evaporation and wind drift issues compared to drip irrigation. It also waters both the crops and the weeds. It's kind of like a general kind of coverage. Uh, it can not be used or is not recommended to use with crops that are susceptible to foliar diseases because that uh, wetting of the leaves can increase the odds of that occurring. Uh, there's also higher potential of runoff and erosion compared to drip irrigation when utilizing overhead irrigation here. Now the system uh, can be portable, which is one of the advantages, is that this can help increase the flexibility. It's possible to set up some mainline tubing and then move the overhead sprinklers to these locations of irrigation. This can limit the number of irrigation heads required, but can also become a hassle, which may reduce the chance of plants getting proper amounts of irrigation, especially if you have different fields. So just because it is possible to move this around and go through and transport it does not mean, sadly, always the growers will go through and do that, especially when you're irrigating dens with those hot, long summer days. Now there is large-scale use of overhead irrigation. So uh, large-scale operations called center pivots are popular in the west of the Mississippi River uh, that you may have seen without realizing it. See big circles, the Pac-Man-like looking things out um, on uh, fly, flying uh, over these large expansive areas. Center pivot is a big well here and it basically does just rotate right around, it goes right around in a circle format. And that's what you're seeing with these large, what looks like crop circles. Now, when we're looking at calculations, uh, it's going to be quite simple. You want to calculate the flow rate in gallons per minute and then determine the coverage area. But getting into more specifics can increase uh, the amount of, of complications, but does improve the efficiency. And there's a reference article here as well as another video I'll be going over to help you with some of those calculations to make sure you're, if you're choosing overhead irrigation, you're making it as efficient as possible.